One of the worst things I've had to do ever in my life. Oh my god. Michael Strahan's daughter Isabella is opening up about her experience with chemotherapy. In a YouTube video posted on February 21st, the 19-year-old details how difficult her first round of chemo was. First round of chemo experiences. One of the worst things I've had to do ever in my life. Oh my god. I, I feel like people made it look so much easier. Um, so the first week, I was like fine, I could still like eat. I was eating the whole time in the hospital actually. Mm -hmm. But, um, it just felt weird getting key. I don't know. You don't really think you're going to get, like, poison put through your body. Did they like poison? Yes, because I knew it was poison, so I was like, it's poison! And, um, what's it called? Like, I could just tell, like, you know, as it reached, like, your feet or your, mm. like, the... I don't know. Not fun. I'm very achy now. In the hospital, the, I think it was the second day, of, not an allergic reaction, but I was, what's that? Um, not shaking, like not from being cold. Shivering. No, it's like- Trembling? It's like worse than that. Rigoring, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was rigoring, I don't even know what that means. But it's like really cold, but like, you can't stop like shaking. My face was bright red. Um, Ooh. So my face also was like tomato red. Like, Your cheeks were pink. That red. And yeah, I was looking like crazy. You know, probably threw up a few times. <laughs> Isabella has been sharing her health journey in a YouTube video series following her brain tumor diagnosis back in 2023. In this vlog, the model is recovering after undergoing treatment in North Carolina at Duke University Hospital. She says the pain she's endured from chemo has been unlike anything she's ever experienced before. Because I got home, um, not necessarily was I feeling super awful until the next day. When? My job. <laughs> so, what's it called? <laughs> You literally were like, I don't want to chop it. I would have rather, per there's like been a few instances in my life. One was like two days before I went to the ER when my head hurt so bad. Two was after my surgery when my head hurt so bad. Three is this jaw pain. <laughs> it felt like I've never gotten a root canal, but it felt like someone had just like ripped every single one of my teeth out and just set it back in my mouth with no medicine and my jaw was so I my gums my teeth my jaw my tongue the bottom of my tongue I basically couldn't drink water it was definitely like I, there were tears over this jaw pain I would just wake up and like oh, that was awful so that was like for three days Despite all the challenges, however, Isabella has kept a smile on her face throughout the whole process. In the video, she's in good spirits as she opens several Valentine's Day gifts and letters from patients. I've gotten so many packages and I love it. But <laughs> they're just so fun to open. I, I never got mail or packages. I just also got the cutest thing from the Scarlet Fund. So many adorable Valentine's Day letters. And um, yeah, I'm just opening them out and I'll show you guys some because they're just so cute. Isabella first shared her diagnosis during a segment on Good Morning America alongside her dad. She was diagnosed with a condition in October after she started experiencing headaches during her freshman year at the University of Southern California. I woke up probably at like 1 p.m. I dreaded waking up, but I was throwing up blood and my sister, I was like, hmm, this probably isn't good. So I, I texted her, who then notified the whole family. And then that was when we decided you need to really go see a get a thorough checkup. And thank goodness for the doctor. I, I feel like this doctor saved her life. She did an EKG there for my heart and like other stuff, but she didn't have an MRI machine. Mm -hmm. So I went to take it somewhere else and then she calls me and she's like, you need to head to Cedar sinai right now. I'm gonna meet you there. Once the doctor saw the results, called her and told her just get to the hospital, and mm -hmm. but did not tell her why. 